I saw your video to me today, Shani. I see you're blubbering again. You called me out on my integrity because I haven't vocally defended you against someone saying you had an affair. I noticed that you conveniently forgot that you yourself falsely accused me of committing adultery with G-Man and G-Man himself had to correct you on that. Have you actually apologised to me and set the record straight? Nope. And yet you expect me to come galloping to your defence when some third party supposedly says you had an affair. Now it may have escaped your notice, but I haven't been around much. I've made one video in almost a year, and that was about why it's dangerous to feed chocolate to dogs. It was a short video on the toxicity of theobromine. And the reason I haven't been around much is because I'm dealing with my husband's health issues. But you wouldn't know that, because the entire world revolves around you, and you wouldn't care even if you did know. I know absolutely nothing about anyone accusing you of having an affair. In fact, this video calling me out for not defending you is the first I've heard of it. You see, my husband's health and my family's well-being are much more important to me than running to the defence of someone when they are accused of doing something that they themselves falsely accuse me of doing. Don't start blubbering about being falsely accused when you've done that to me and certainly don't come blubbering about my lack of action on something I know nothing about. I have much more important things to worry about than a gluttonous, holier-than-thou hypocrite who does really bad internet porn. Did you even stop to ask yourself if I knew about this? Of course you didn't. Did you even consider that I might have serious issues going on in my life again? Of course you didn't. Did it even enter that thing you call a mind? That I am not responsible for what other people say I don't even know about? Nah. You and your sidekick G-Man, the Muppet who announced that the Holy Spirit says that Jesus was born in Nazareth, are just after a little bit of drama and so you decided to go after me for no good reason. Well done, you've got your response. You called me dishonest, so let me share some honest thoughts. People shouldn't throw around false accusations. False accusations are also called lies, just like the false accusation you made about me. Ever since then I have stayed well away from you, because I recognise you have serious mental difficulties. I have watched you rampage across YouTube and other platforms, making a complete ass of yourself, shaming yourself, physically assaulting your husband, mentally torturing your children, lying and scheming your way across Colorado, Japan, and I have said nothing. I haven't called you out for any of these actions, because I have much more important things to be worrying about. I could have reached out to you when it became apparent that your mental deterioration had accelerated. But last time I checked, you had me blocked, and as I said, I had more important things to worry about. You seem to think you can treat people like the trash that you are, and then demand their assistance when it suits you. Life doesn't work like that. Sometimes people decide to shake the dust from their feet and move on. And that's what I did. That you choose to behave in a manner so despicable that people call you out is absolutely no concern of mine. I lose no sleep over it. You've made your bed, you get to wallow in it and possibly breach. So you can take your ignorant, judgmental opinion of me and my honesty and integrity and shove it up that shit-stained ass of yours that we all wish we'd never seen. My integrity tells me that my husband and my family are so much more important than the inane blubbering of a failed porn star who bared her ass for all to see and is forever in the middle of a feeding frenzy. It's such a shame that you can't put your family first. Go blubber somewhere else. God bless.